<laughs> hey Shubi Dealers, how are you doing? Now I have had a, a, a couple of comments I've been going backwards and forwards with uh, just in case and I should say that is a really good YouTube handle <laughs> um, who started off by saying to, saying to me how do I have so much stuffs? I heard I heard artists were really poor but you seem to be pretty damn rich kind of made me think and I, I suppose I don't think of myself as being rich but I suppose it's all relative really isn't it um, uh, you know, to some people I suppose I might appear rich you know to others maybe not I don't know so anyway as, uh, it says you know I've got more damn books behind me than I have in his school well I think that's really sad for him that his school hasn't got any more books a lot of these books I've bought very very cheaply secondhand from uh, you know charity shops and things uh, along the way uh, book sales at libraries and whatever so I haven't bought them all brand new uh summer gifts or whatever so uh yeah rich is a really really s difficult word but uh, in terms uh, i think you know rich isn't just about money i think yes i i am rich in that i have a very rich life i think um and and i managed to do that uh, by being an artist and in in the widest sense of the term i suppose uh, i think most people might think of an artist as somebody who sort of paints away um, at canvases but I think art artists are all sorts of things musicians are artists writers are artists um, it's a kind of a way of way of life really it's a way of thinking uh, and can you make a living at it well <laughs> just in case also says uh, all I heard was you can't make money off art that's what my parents told me that's why my parents told me not to do art and oh that is so sad and my dad was exactly the same uh, when I told him I was going to do art, he said, no son of mine is going to be a namby-pamby artist. And the reason he said that was he was scared for me because he couldn't understand how an artist might make a living out of it. Now, there are two things. If you enjoy making, if you enjoy being creative, uh, and, and you've got this thing burning inside you, you just have to kind of make things, have to do things, have to create that is great okay you don't have to make a living out of it you can just do it for fun that is allowed you don't have to worry yourself about tax and IRS investigations and stuff like that <laughs> you just do it as a hobby and that is great and just do it if you want to do it as a living it becomes something very very different it, it, you know I think you're as a creative person you're driven to create but there's an extra thing happens if you're doing it as a living you wake up in the morning and you, you you've got to create because otherwise you don't eat um, so within the art world there are a million jobs out there of, of all sorts of kind of creative kind of jobs out there for people who are creatively minded so if you want to do art at school do art at school and don't worry about if it's going to give you the right qualification to, to do something in the end if you're a creative person you're going to do some kind of creative job because otherwise you're going to be bored out of your mind so to do the art um, and who knows where it will lead you there are a million jobs out there when I, when I, when I left school everyone said to me oh there's there are no jobs out there for people to do art and now you think of the explosion in tv web design uh you know animation film youtube everything these are all for artists all these millions of jobs out there and i'm just, and i think as life goes on there will be more and more and more jobs for people creative people so don't be told this what happens is your parents don't understand and they're worried for you they're worried that you're not going to make a living that you're just going to they've got this idea in their head that artists lie around all day they don't get up until the afternoon and then they go down to the bar and get drunk that's their idea of what an artist is it isn't if you're an artist you're kind of driven to work um and and the, the difficulty is actually then turning that into money so you either work for somebody else uh, in which case you do a kind of creative job like web design or something like that in TV or you become an artist in which case you're going to be self-employed and that is harder I will admit uh, because um, 
th there are two ways to go. You either kind of <laughs> do this old fashioned Hollywood idea of what an artist is and you kind of bleed from your heart and it's all about the art and the art and the art and you're not going to make any money unless somebody comes along and says, oh, great, I'm going to put your work. You know, you just keep making the work and I'll put it in a gallery and we'll make money together. The other way is you become an artist entrepreneur and, and you you come up with an idea, you follow it through and, and you sell it and you either come up with an idea and sell it or you think these people, they like doing this. So I'm going to come up with an idea for them because they're going to like it and then they will buy it. And that's marketing. Um, marketing is a really dirty word in art, but it's really important if you want to make a living marketing. Is, is okay you're a farmer and you think i need to get money to see me through the year so if i plant plant potatoes now i will be the first to market with them and everybody loves potatoes so you plant your potatoes you get to market everybody goes we love potatoes so they pay you good money for it as an artist you go those people that go to that kind of market that there's that kind of people they might you know dog lovers they like dog drawings so i'm going to do them these beautiful dog, dog dog drawings and i'm going to go to the dog show and i'm going to sell them at the dog show so it's marketing you 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 do something for a market and you sell it within a market does that make sense if you go to a dog show and you try to sell cat pictures uh, you're in the wrong market okay <laughs> so um yeah, yes, you can make a living, uh, and I've been doing it for 27 years. It's, it's hard work. You've got to keep coming up with new ideas. you just got to keep coming at it. But that is what drives creative people. And if you kind of run out of creative juice, you've got to go and get another kind of job. You know, you've got to go and work behind a bar or become a banker or something. So because <laughs> they're the people that really make the money. They've got the money. Decide what it is that the bankers want to buy do the artwork for them. That's how you become rich as an artist. I hope that makes some kind of sense to somebody. <laughs> Here end of today's lesson about how to make money as an artist. If you've got any questions you want to ask, put them in the comments box below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and have a look at another one of my videos or try the mystery drawing. Make sure you're subscribed for new drawings every Monday and Friday. Check out my website, shoewaiter.com. And why not get my new book, Everyone Can Draw. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.